says, what's your name? The Angelica. Is the Stephon receiving the words of God? No, I'm not. He's not. He's not listening. No. Thank you. I Read that again. I but the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God. Is Stephon a spiritual man according to the Bible? The natural man. No. I can't hear the you, Angelica. The natural no. man. No, he is not. not. All right? Read it again. Read it again. Look. But the natural, the natural man, man receiveth not. not the things of the Spirit of God. Is he receiving the Spirit man. of God? I'm a natural no, man. No, he's not. He's not listening. So according to the Bible, is he a spiritual man? No, he's a natural man. Say it again. Read again. Say it again. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God. Read on. For they are foolishness. They're what? Foolishness. The things that we're preaching, do they seem to be foolishness to Stephon? Nope. Yeah. Not foolishness. Yes, they do. Come Not on. Foolishness. Foolishness unto him. We told him to take his head off in honor of the Messiah, Jesus the Christ. Was that foolishness to him? Yeah. Yes, it was. That's why he still has his head on. Come on. For they are foolishness unto him. Right. So, Stephon, if you... It, it, did Stephon come out here, sister, Angelica, did Stephon come out here to learn? Yep. No, he didn't. He came out here to debate. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. He, he came out here Both. to debate and to yes, teach. Because Both. Stephon, Both. But for half the time Both. Stephon's been out here, I've been seeing Stephon's back. Because Stephon's back has been to me, but he, his face has been to you. you Why is that? Why is that? Come on, Stephon. Did you come out here to learn, or did you come out here to teach? And if you came out here to teach, then where are the rest of your brothers? Right. I don't need. All right. Where are your camp signs? Where's your Bible? That's the most important thing you need if you're gonna teach, right? Where's your Bible at? So the my point, the point I'm making for Angelica is that you want to avoid natural men like this. Now I'm gonna deal with the man first, because First Corinthians chapter eleven, read that again, tells us what that the head of that the head of every woman is who? A man. Right. Uh huh. Right. That's what the scriptures say. Uh huh. All right. So we dealt with step one first. Now we're gonna deal with you, Angelica. Read what you got. First Corinthians chapter eleven, verse three. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man. The head of the woman is who? The man, right? But you need to follow a righteous man and keep God's commandments. That's right. Not a natural man that has no reverence and respect for God. Right. That's, not, that's not the type of man that you want to find in this world. They can't do nothing for you but make a baby. They can't teach them nothing. When they go, they gonna teach them how to follow God when they ain't follow God themselves. Teach. When they, how they gonna do that? It don't make no sense. So, oh, sister, you gotta you avoid who? The, you the natural man. You understand that? Don't keep none of God's commandments. That's right. And, and, and practice idolatry and walk around with idols on his neck. That's the brother that you I run from. You run from men like that. Uh, and no, it's not just no, it's not uh, just the no, pressing moon in the star. No, so it's not just not the pressing moon in the star. No, it's the Christianity cross too. You gotta run uh, because you know what? No. The same. Doctrine that's stuck in his mind is stuck in their head too. They hate God just like he do. They don't keep God's commandments just like he don't. You understand? The same way. All right, so you got to run from natural men that don't keep God's commandments. All right? Read on. No, sir. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Christ. A righteous man is the head of the woman. You understand? All right, these men right here, we your head today, sister. Sister, you understand what I'm saying? Why? Because we teaching God's command and we protecting right. you from niggas on the street. Right. What are we doing right now? You understand? So who's your head right now? These men right here. We your head right now. Right? Don't we have power to lead you? Do you believe that? All right? Does, does this natural man have... You gonna follow a natural man that... Wa <laughs> right, you ain't gonna answer that question right now. All right? Read what you got. Come on. And the head of the woman is the man. Come on. And the head of Christ is God. Read. Every man praying or prophesying. Listen good. Listen good. This is the law. That just ignore him. Just look at me, sis. Ignore him. He going to do this all day. All day. If he has something better to do, don't you think he be doing it? You understand what I'm saying? All right, read what you got. Come on. Every man praying or prophesying. This is the most important thing to me right now. You understand? Lord's will, he keep the spirit on me to the day I die. There's nothing more right, that I'd rather be doing than teaching my people. Teach, bro. Right? Teach your people than what? Teach it the truth. That's and, right. and not to commit idolatry. I tell you what. And to keep go God's get, commandments. Go, go give right? everybody that's right. on. Having his go, head go, covered. Go, 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 you got your head covered right now. Come on. Dishonoring his head. He's dishonoring Christ. All right? All right, sister. This is for you, so I need you to listen good to this part. Read on. 
verse 5. Come on. But every woman that prayeth or prophesied. So you said that we was praying and prophesying, right? Come on. Not. With her head uncovered. Is your head uncovered, sis? Yes. yes, it is. Come on. Dishonoreth her head. But you. So who are you dishonoring? These men right here because we're your head, right? right? So the same way that a man should take his head off, all right, in respect for the Messiah, all right, is the same way that a woman should cover her head, all right? So a woman needs to have her head covered, right? And, uh, and when, when we're talking about the prophecies. So, so next time, all right, when you read in the Bible, when you get home, before you open the book up, before you get deep into the scriptures, go get you a scarf, go get you a head cover, go get you a hat. Go get something to put on your head. Right. Why? So, so her so, natural hair is not why? good enough. So that you can honor your head. You understand? To show, you got don't you want baby? the Don't you want the Lord to send you a righteous man? Yes. Don't you what? want the Lord to send you what? a man that's that's what? gonna that's gonna that's gonna protect you and teach you the truth, teach that's you God's law, that's not gonna be afraid to correct you. You understand? That's gonna build you up in righteousness. Don't you want a man to do that for you? Don't you believe God got a man out here like that for you? All right. It's not going to be a natural man that don't keep God's commandments. All right? So until he sends you that man, you got to prepare yourself for him. Right. So how are you going to do that? So, so, so how are you going to do wait, that? One way, one way oh, that man. you can do that is just yeah. by covering your head when you're reading the scriptures. All right? So, so I know you ain't got a head cover head right now, man. but I'm telling you this. So next time, right, you're going to know that you need to have a covering on your head That's when right. the scriptures are coming out. Right? The same way that he should have his head off when the scriptures are coming out, right? You don't see All right. Natural All right. From there, give me uh, Forgot yeah, Deuteronomy chapter twenty-two. Come Good. on, yo. Come on. All right. We're gonna yeah, we're gonna read God. another law. You can't be saying that, but you're blind. Hold on. Give me First Corinthians chapter what? three first, verse sixteen. All right. I think you asked me could you smoke earlier. I might have told you yes by mistake. And you did. All right. So you already said it. That was a mistake. You said it. He said it. Yeah, that uh -huh. was a mistake. No, sir. All right. Uh -huh. I didn't understand, but I understand now, so I'm going to read the scripture to you. Don't listen to me. Listen to God. Right. What you got? First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Bring it out. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? So your body is a temple, is it not? You, got you should take care of it. Do you right? have a tattoo? Right? Do you have any tattoo? Yes, I do. Done. And I had Done. to repent from that. Yes, right. Done. 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 You see how that works? Done. 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 You see how that works? Done, bro. How easy is that? Done. Bring it out. Says, do you have a hair covering on right now? Done. But you gotta repent from that, right? right. That right. means next time, what you gotta have on your head? A hair covering. That's can I, right. Can I continue to can get tattoos? Can you get rid of that tattoo? Can, can you I, get rid can of can that tattoo? Can I continue tattoo? to get tattoos? Can you get rid of that tattoo? I'm gonna read the law for you. you, you know, know what I mean? Leviticus right. chapter 19. We're gonna come back to that. Born in sin, bro. No, you made a good point. Because we are here to teach just a few things, and one of those things is repentance. All right? One of those things, you say ain't no repentance. What God do you serve? Read what you got. Leviticus God. chapter 19, verse 28. Read what you got. Come on. Leviticus Listen, chapter 19, verse 28. We all got tattoos out here. Maybe no, not everybody. But I you do not have one. I do. I do not have do. one. All right. You ain't, but you got an idol on your neck, so you still got to repent. Right. Read what you got. That's not you idol. shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. So I am the Lord. Should you print markings upon you? When you get a tattoo, don't you print markings upon you? Yeah. So... Can you continue to do that? Thus saith the Lord. No, you can't. Read Lord. it again so she can hear it. Come on. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh. In for the dead. Don't we get tattoos for the dead by pull. making cuttings in our flesh? In the way I pull. Nor print. Nor what? Nor print. Or a tattoo. Come on. Any marks. Any marking cuttings in your flesh with ink. Come on. Upon you. I am the Lord. God I said don't get no tattoos. You understand that? Uh huh. So when I read that law. Do you think I got another tattoo? No, I didn't. All right? So guess what, Stefan? There's I repentance my, I for you. I, I stopped my first felony. Stefan, there's is repentance that a, for you. Is that repentance for me? Yes, I there is. My first I'm going to give you but another chance. No tattoo, but you got I'm going to give you, you another felony. chance. I'm going to give you another chance. Oh, first oh, Corinthians yeah, chapter yeah, 11. Yeah, We're going to give Stefan another chance. Yeah. All right? Let's see if Stefan going to get it right. Listen good. Listen good, Stefan. Verse oh, 4. Read what you got. First Corinthians chapter 11 verse 4. You know why I show you mercy? Because I need mercy. Read what you got. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. So you are in sin because we are prophesying right now and you have your head covered and you refuse to take your head off. That's right. Hey, you, you say now, that we are now, prophesying. You say that we are prophesying. The, the Revelation chapter 19 verse 10. Bring it up. All right. 
Revelation chapter 19, verse 10. Since you don't believe, I'm going to take it another step further for you. All right? Yes, sir. Let's All right? Let's go. We're speaking the words oh, of Paul, who was speaking the words of Christ. Read what you got. Yes, sir. Revelation chapter 19, verse 10. Yeah. And I fell at his feet to worship him. Right. This is John. He fell at his feet to worship Christ. You say, do y'all worship Christ? Didn't you ask that earlier? Do y'all worship Christ? No, we don't worship Christ. This is why. Come on. And he said unto me, see thou. Do it not. Get up. Don't worship me. I'm the Messiah. I'm the, I'm the son of God. I'm not the most high. Come on. I am thy fellow servant. Christ said, I'm a servant just like you. Come on. And of thy brethren. He's of thy like what? And of thy brethren. Christ was an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. That's right. Whoa. That have the oh, testimony oh, got of loud. Jesus. Christ, how, how hold saying? on. Listen. He said he had saying? the testimony of Jesus. Now, I have a question for you. What's the testimony of Jesus? Because we just read that the head of man is who? The head of man is who? Christ says, the head of man is who? Who's the head of man? You believe it. Christ. You believe it. Christ is the head of man. Who's, who's the head of the woman? The man is, right? Who's the head of man? Christ is, right? How will we know that lest Christ teach us? So am I not Christ? How, hold on. How will we know that lest Christ, Christ teach us? We'll not be Christ. The reason we'll that we know Christ. that now is because it's written in this quote unquote New Testament, all right, that we would not have lest Christ Christ died and shed his blood for us. That's why we have that now, right? Revelation chapter 19. Come on, where you are? Worship God. Worship who? Worship God. Christ said, don't worship me. All right? Worship the most high God. Come on. Right. For the testimony right. of Jesus. Now the question that I have is, what is the testimony of Jesus? What's the testimony of Jesus? Were we not testifying? Hold on. Were we not testifying the words of Jesus when we told you to take your head off? Yes or no? Yes, we were. Were we not testifying the words of Jesus that when we taught man. you that the head of the woman is the man? Were we not testifying of Jesus? Yes. Why? Because that was written in the Bible, was it not? Yes, it was. So now my question is, no. hold on, no. hold on. No. Now my question is, what is the testimony of Jesus, Stefan? Read. The testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Wait, right. what is the testimony of Jesus? The spirit of prophecy. What is the testimony of Jesus? The spirit of prophecy. The testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth